Have a fun video you'd like to see featured on NCW Life? Email us at newsphotos at ncwlife.com. Good Tuesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window. And today, now we're talking. What a beautiful day out there. Temperatures hovering around the 70 degree mark. Uh, it's our Billy Goat SkyFi Tower camera looking down at Pateras and where the Medhow River meets the Columbia River. Still a few clouds out there. We thought we'd see a bit more sun. We are here than uh, up in Okanagan County, but all in all, a nice day with about a wind around 10 miles an hour this afternoon. And speaking of Okanagan County, Warmer temperatures in the forecast. We talked about this last night. The Okanagan River is above flood stage right now. Flood stage about 15 feet. It is about 16 feet right now, but with temperatures predicted to get into the mid upper 70s and maybe even 80 degrees over the next few days, the towns of Tenasket, Omak and Brewster be, uh, be aware that that river will be rising and we will talk more about that as our week progresses. Your weather forecast, by the way, coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the news stories we're following for you tonight. The Icicle Peshastan Irrigation District's dam at Eight Mile Lake continues to show signs of deterioration, prompting increasing concerns. And coming up in tonight's feature story, the 12th Legislative District race just got more interesting with a surprise announcement today. But first we begin tonight, Chelan County PUD has closed a portion of the Chelan Gorge as a safety precaution due to recent rock slides that have created unstable slopes. Commissioners were briefed on the situation at their Monday afternoon meeting in Wenatchee. It was reported that the slope along 1,200 feet of Reach 2 in the gorge is being closely monitored. One location is a known area of ground movement. The PUD has been watching this area for more than 25 years with little activity. It's located about 750 feet from the Gorge Road. A second site is a more recent movement area. It was discovered by PUD employees who were scouting the area with Chelan area residents to identify potential locations for extending the Reach 1 Trail. Bill Chrisman, PUD Chief Dam Safety Engineer, said PUD staff has determined this new location seems to be more active than Site A. This smallish area that we observed for a long time um, continues to move. It's got a depth of maybe 10 or 20 or 30 feet, depending on where in that area um, we refer to. So it's not by any means a deep-seated rotational failure like the Oso event. Um, experienced. It's a surficial, relatively shallow ground mobilization that is natural and we're now observing it out in that area and that's a pretty fresh feature. It's likely we think that material will come off of this area like like that relatively smallish fresh feature. It's possible that um, an entire 1200 foot length or so could come off at one time, given a really severe rainform, rainstorm or a seismic event. And if that happens, then there's a potential that there be a temporary earth dam in the gorge. And we'd um, need to uh, evaluate whether to shut off spill for a short period of time, um, increase spill. It really depends on the character of the um, failure if, if it ever occurs in a big way. The PUD is contracting with a geotechnical firm to help with the assessment. PUD staff and the consulting engineers will look at what might occur if an earthen dam resulted from a large rockfall. Also to be studied is what impact an earthen dam would have on hydro operations as well as conditions further downstream. Out of precaution, the area is being closed off to public access and signs will be set up to make the public aware of the potential hazard. Chelan County Commissioner Keith Gaynor says the Icicle Peshastan Irrigation District's dam at Eight Mile Lake continues to show signs of deteriorating, prompting increasing concerns. With the, the warm weather we had last week, we started uh, with some melt. Uh, it did cool off a little bit, but as late as uh, just the last couple of days, uh, the, Tony Onser, the manager of the Icicle Irrigation District, was up in the 
uh, Alpine Lakes area, they're looking at the eight mile dam and the water is running through uh, the, the little gap there between the earthen dam and the, the concrete structure that is there. So there is concern that water is already beginning to, uh, you know, to come down and it, if we do have a major melt, the, 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 I guess the concern they had about the way the ground was based on the, after the burn mm -hmm. that uh, we could still have a, an event. So it's imperative that a repair be done you know, as soon as possible. Gaynor says warnings have been posted downstream to advise property owners of the possible problems. What they've said is that if there is a major failure, it'll take about 30 minutes for it to get from 8 Mile to uh, down to the Icicle Creek and then another 30 minutes to the Wenatchee. So, you know, if you had a major failure within an hour, uh, you could have a significant impact to property and, 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 you know, lives would be at risk. Emergency repairs are planned, but Gaynor says it's not likely that plans to replace the dam will happen this year. Coming up next, the emotional highlight of the Stamilt Growers Grand Parade comes early as thousands of spectators along the route pay tribute to those in the armed forces from our state who gave their lives for America. And in a recent announcement from Governor Jay Inslee's office, Wenatchee, South Wenatchee and areas around Malaga and Alcoa have been chosen as an opportunity zone. We'll tell you what that means for the area. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Hi, I'm Cordell Schroeder, owner of East Wenatchee Mobile Storage. If you're thinking about making a move anytime soon, check out the East Wenatchee Mini Storage brand new mobile storage service. They drop it off at your location, you pack it, and they pick it up and store it in their protected warehouse at East Wenatchee for as long as you need. When you're ready, they'll drop it off at your new home or office. East Wenatchee Mini Storage is excited to offer this brand new service to our region. Call 509-884-8643 or find us on the web at ewministorage.com. J&J Snack Foods makes a lot of dough-filled products. It's really hard to attract labor in this area. We've reached out to Goodwill, and Goodwill came through to help us get that achieved. John started here at the plant a couple of months ago. We promoted him to a dough maker. He's doing well. I'm actually doing great. I'm finally getting more notice and appreciated for my work here. I love the products we make here. If you're struggling finding the labor that you need, reach out to Goodwill. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. Welcome back. In another news, the emotional highlight of the Stamilt Growers Grand Parade comes early as thousands of spectators along the route pay tribute to those in the armed forces from our state who gave their lives for this country. Banners bearing the faces and the names of the fallen are carried by local volunteers and what is called Washington's Fallen Heroes. On this morning's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley, local volunteer Matt Weissen spoke of the emotional impact on those who carry the banners. These guys gave everything, and uh, you can see there, there's a ton of them out there, and it's very, very sober um, moment. It's uh, it's something you'll remember for the rest of your life. It, I came into it not knowing what to expect, and it, it blew me away. And uh, the respect that the crowd gives gives these families, the families, some of the families of the soldiers on these banners are are out there as well in the parade up front. There are parents and there brothers parents and sisters and, and siblings yep. of the fallen who are carrying the banner of that family member. Yeah, correct. And and actually parents and family members or whatever will come out of the crowd sometimes and walk with us and, and tell us the story of wow. it, it's, it's just really? two years ago my younger son was in front of me carrying a banner and mm. I get choked up talking about it. Just a man came out of the crowd and he said, do you mind if I help you? And then he proceeded to tell the story about his grandson and how he, how he um, got the news. So it was just overwhelming. Weissen put out the call for volunteers to carry the banners as normally there are more banners than people to carry them. 
show up Triangle Park. At uh, we're typically loaded or located closer to the, tri uh, the Apple Bowl. Mm -hmm. And you're usually towards the front of the parade too, right? Usually towards the front, usually the first 15 or so <coughs> entries. Right. So you'll see where we're staging there. I would recommend kids older than eight or so. Um, you can double up on the banners. Um, for every six kids, so if you're a coach out there and you have a team you want to come join us, that's great. Bring your, bring your team. But for every six kids under 14, you need one adult. Okay. And there is a waiver to sign once you get there. Uh, and, and that's it. Come, we'll bring walking shoes. Um, if you're on a sports team, wear your uniforms. Um, be, be proud of your, your, um, your team and, and what you're doing for the community. The Stamil Growers Grand Parade begins at 11 a.m. Saturday and will be televised live here on the NCW Life Channel. Well, in a recent announcement from Governor Jay Inslee's office, Wenatchee, South Wenatchee, and areas around Malaga and Alcoa have been chosen as an opportunity zone. This means that over 2,300 acres of land can be considered for new investment. Examples include the Wenatchee Valley College's Center for Entrepreneurship, which has been working with a group of Latino work, uh, leaders looking to take on a key project, a food truck plaza and incubator space. Catholic Family Services is developing a $15 million housing project in South Wenatchee and is in need of an additional $1 million in equity funding. Craft 3 and the Community Foundation of North Central Washington will now have the ability to bring Opportunity Zone and private foundation funding to projects. The City of Wenatchee partnered with Chelan County and the Port of Chelan County to secure the Opp Opp Opportunity Zone designations. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, your sports update with Eric Granstrom and our feature story today. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. It turns out some people are more likely to do well at Charter College and succeed in a new career. So what's this charter type? Charter types are go-getters. Charter types follow through. Charter types love a challenge. If you're a hard worker looking for a fast path to a better career, you're just our type. Charter College. We work to get you to work. I have a doctor who knows what they're talking about. It's just so much more hands-on and friendly than anywhere else I've ever been. It's really great to walk into somewhere where you feel welcomed and you feel accepted. We've just been grateful for the care and respect that we've been given there. And here when I come to visit my doctor, I'm not afraid to ask questions. It's not just about getting you in and out. I love my care. It's CVCH. It's awesome. Give it a try. <laughs> Hello, Wenatchee Valley. Christian Chamberlain here with Bay Equity Home Loans. Make your dream of building your own home a reality today. Bay Equity Home Loans has teamed up with Real Homes to make building your new home a smooth process. Bay Equity Home Loans of Wenatchee offers new construction loans, FHA 3.5% down, and VA 100% construction loans. Stop on by or give us a call today. It's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy May Day. The Wenatchee Wild will have made their 800-mile sojourn to the outskirts of Edmonton, Alberta by 6 o'clock tonight, or at least we hope, for Game 3 of the Doyle Cup at Spruce Grove. After two wins at home on Friday and Saturday, Wenatchee leads the best of seven series, two games to none. But this is a very good team in the Saints who have only lost four games all season on home ice, uh, make that home ice, that is, at the Grant Fuhr Arena. So the Wild will have its hands full this week in Spruce Grove. By the way, there are a few ways you can take in tonight's game. You can listen for our checkers call on Sunny FM. You can subscribe to HockeyTV.com or you can go down to Columbia Valley Brewing to watch it along with other Wild faithful. We have a few scores to pass along in the Les Schwab Prep scoreboard from Monday in baseball. Waterville-Mansfield split a doubleheader with Tenasket, falling in the first game 4-zip, but coming back for the nightcap win 11-9. In soccer, Cashmere blanked OMAC 1-0. Wenatchee was second, Eastmont third in the Big Nine boys pod number six at Apple Tree Golf Course in Yakima Monday. West Valley took first place. On the girls' side, in their sixth pod of the season, Wenatchee was first. 
Dave is second, Eastmont third at the Moses Lake Country Club. On the prep schedule for today, Cashmere hosting OMAC in baseball. Chelan is on the road at Okanagan. Waterville Mansfield will be at Lake Roosevelt. And Manson hosts Pateras. Wenatchee plays Eastmont at Dan White Field today. And I will be there with our cameras with the broadcast coming up at 7 o'clock tonight here on the NCW Life Channel. Let's take a look at the softball schedule for today. Eastmont plays at Wenatchee. Now, Grant Olson will be at Walla Walla Point Park to uh, record the action. We'll have it on the air tomorrow night at 8 here on the NCW Live Channel. Also today, Chelan hosts Okanagan, while OMAC is at Cashmere, Waterville Mansfield at Lake Roosevelt. On the boys' prep soccer schedule today, Okanagan hosts Cashmere, Cascade plays at Chelan, Eastmont hosts Eisenhower tonight at 7 o'clock. Last day of the regular season for the Big Nine, so we'll find out what play-in games we have coming up on Friday. Very busy schedule in tennis for the day today. Eastmont hosting Sunnyside. Well, Wenatchee's on the road at Moses Lake. Chelan travels to Okanagan. Cashmere is at OMAC. On the track today, Bridgeport hosting Antioch, Manson, Chelan, and Cascade. And in golf, Chelan had an earlier tee time today down at Suncadia against Kalielum. Cascade this afternoon was hosting Warden at the Leavenworth Golf Club. Let's open up the NCW uh, Life broadcast schedule for the week. It starts, as we mentioned, tonight, 7 o'clock. We'll bring you Wenatchee Eastmont Baseball from a little earlier in the day. Tomorrow at 8, it's Eastmont Wenatchee Softball. Hockey Night Thursday features Game 1 of the Doyle Cup between Wenatchee and Spruce Grove. That'll be at 7 o'clock. Then on Friday, we're skipping sports and getting right to the Les Schwab Classy Chassis Parade. That'll be at 6.30 with Grant Olson and Brent Crowder of Town Nissan as your host for that one. So that should be a fun broadcast. Be sure and join us for that coming up on Friday at 6.30. Well, the Mariners begin a three-game series with the Oakland A's tonight at Safeco Field. Felix Hernandez will get the start for Seattle against the A's Andrew Triggs. Following a successful road trip, the M's are 16-11 on the season. Good for second in the American League West behind Houston. Just a half game behind Seattle is L.A., followed by Oakland and Texas. Tonight's first pitch is at 7-10. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Grant, back to you. Thank you, Eric. In tonight's feature story, the 12th Legislative District race just got more interesting with a surprise announcement today by incumbent House Representative Kerry Condotta. He made the announcement in an exclusive interview with NCW Life News Director Steve Hare. Joining me right now in the NCW Live studios, Kerry Condotta, host of the 12th District, also our 12th District House Representative uh, in uh, Olympia. Um, he's here to join us right now with a special announcement. Yes. Gary. Well, I gotta tell you, Steve, it's been very difficult, but uh, I just wanna let folks know that I will not be returning to Olympia. That's a big surprise. Yeah, it is a surprise for some. Now, I actually knew about this a while back, and I've just been trying to put everything together and line up uh, things to make sure that uh, everything in the transition would go smoothly. I think it will. Um, but I just could not uh, do uh, the time uh, again uh, for 16 years. I've been down there, spent a lot of time personally, and uh, it's been very tough financially. And so uh, we just decided that uh, this was a good time to move on. I'm not leaving politics at all. Uh, I, I will be looking at other possibilities in the future. But for right now, uh, for me, it is time to come home and uh, do some other things. Well, I know that the seat is going to be uh, is going to be uh, hotly contested uh, coming up in November and August. There will definitely be a, a primary at this point. Do you uh, have any names out there that might be uh, looking to uh, fill the Republican ticket? Well, I think I'll leave that up to the folks. There's some, uh, there's several. I think that will probably uh, possibly pop up, but we'll have at least one or two, I believe. And I think that's good. I think it's good. There's a, a couple of Democrats in the race, uh, <laughs> and I hope there's a couple of Republicans, I think that's uh, healthy and I think that's the way it should go. I'm sure that in the long run, um, Republicans, I believe, will still prevail. It's still a very Republican district, but I think it's good to have the, the two views and, uh, and see that uh, contest. I think that's very important. How would you describe your term in office uh, as the House uh, Representative for the 12th Legislative District? 
Well, I got to tell you, we did a lot over 16 years, and I'm very proud of the achievements we made. Uh, a lot of progress in a lot of areas. The small business stuff was probably most important. But I think the most important thing I probably contributed that most people will not know about is getting us from 34 seats back to 48 seats and balancing the, the political power in Olympia. That was something I started 12 years ago as the director of the campaigns for the House Republican Caucus. And I'm very proud that I brought that balance, because I think without it, we would be in similar shape to California, right? Right now and and be uh, really in bad bad shape so uh, for that uh, possible Republican candidate uh, seeking uh, that seat uh, what kind of advice would you have for that person well it's uh, you got to work hard be prepared um, you are gonna have to do the time I mean that's the thing those these sessions these long sessions have been very difficult uh, on a lot of members uh, both financially and personally when you're gone five six months you can't really hold another job and and with a a pay uh, as low the pay grade being so low it's very difficult to make ends meet so I would say uh, be aware you're not going to make a fortune uh, it's going to be difficult but it's very rewarding uh, I still feel every time I walk in that capital only a handful of people ever get to do this uh, when you look back at those pictures up in the fourth floor and see uh, all the people that have come before you you realize you're one of a very small group it's a very uh, honor honorable thing to do uh, despite all the rhetoric out there it's still an honorable position but I think it's a uh, it's just uh, you know come with a passion and uh, work hard and you'll enjoy it uh, uh, again I just uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity out there and there will be I'm sure several people that will look at this uh, there's a lot of opportunity for me going forward I'll spend a little more time here we're gonna work on that 12th district show a little bit and make it a little more dynamic and I got a couple other shows in mind so uh, that's to start with but between now and the end of the year I'll be looking at all the options and uh, by the first of next year I'm sure I'll be launched in a new direction well it's been a pleasure working with you both at NCW Life and as a reporter covering you in the legislature but again Kerry Condotta announcing today his withdrawal uh, from uh, the uh, political race uh, this uh, this election season. Thank you very much for joining us. Any final final comments? Well, thanks, Steve. I just want to thank all the people over the years who have been so supportive. It has been a great uh, term. I wouldn't have, uh, I, I say it's been tough, but I wouldn't have changed a thing. And I really appreciate all the support over the years, and I hope I'll have continued support as I move forward in my political career. Thanks for joining us here on NCW Live News. I'm Steve Hare. Thus far, no Republic, Republican candidates have been identified as possible candidates. Dr. Ann Diamond is running as an independent, and Chris Gaynor, a Democrat, has also expressed interest in filing for that seat. We'll be back with a recap of some of our top stories in your complete local weather forecast right after this. Walk and Roll Wenatchee's Asian Express is fast, fresh food. Wenatchee Roll's new Pokey Hawaiian Fresh Salad Bar is the best. Fresh greens, fresh seafood, and handmade sauces. You know what you want. At Walk and Roll, create your own style meal. Hot off the line chicken, beef, and veggie plates. Lunch or dinner to match your appetite. Fresh sushi, hot entrees, Pokey Fresh Salad Bar. It's new. It's Walk and Roll Wenatchee fast, fresh food your way. Located on 5th and Mission. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. Are you watching me? If you're watching me and you are a business owner in North Central Washington, your potential customers could be seeing your TV commercial right now. With Solely on Broadcasting, TV advertising is effective and affordable. Place your ads on the network best suited to your potential customers or get top of mind awareness with 16 cable networks including NCW Life, your local TV channel. Give Solely on Broadcasting a call at 888-2020 today to see how easy and affordable it is to advertise on TV. Welcome back, and time now for a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. And 
What a day today again. Keep in mind our normal high temperature is right around that 67 degree mark for this time of year. We climbed to almost 70 degrees the last time I checked, maybe a little bit over that, but it's going to go up from there. Let's take a look outside our weather window and we can show you what a beautiful day it is today. That's looking from our Billy Goat camera uh, towards the Columbia River. Of course, the Methow River coming in right there, the town of Pateras. Uh, in the middle of your screen and just a few clouds up in Okanagan County. We had a few floating high clouds around today as well, but all in all wind really wasn't an issue and it was a beautiful day. I'll tell you what, a quiet weather period will develop across north central Washington as an upper level ridge will provide sunshine and starlight through Thursday at least with some increasing high clouds on Friday filtering the sun as the next offshore weather system approaches from the Pacific Coast. Keep in mind as you look at our uh, surface map loop that the temperatures go from yellow to red to orange and even some purples on our map around the western United States. It'll be a warming period with high temperatures rising into the 70s over most populated areas and even a few 80 degree readings in the lowest portions of the Columbia Basin that both Thursday and into Friday. By late Friday, a weak trough of low pressure will skirt the southern part of Washington, bringing a moderate chance of hit and miss showers this weekend, concentrated mainly over the mountains surrounding the basin, but with a minor threat over the eastern basin as well. With no well-defined weather fronts, temperatures will be minimally impacted, and the uh, expectation is high temperatures will moderate only slightly this weekend and remain above normal into the new work week, and that's great news for the Stamilk Growers Grand Parade on Saturday. Let's take a look at your forecast now and get ready for some nice weather. 77 degrees, our high temperature on Wednesday. Sunny skies, mostly sunny Thursday and 81. That will be the warmest uh, day of our forecast period. Upper 70s Friday and the weekend now looks great. Partly cloudy on both Saturday and Sunday. And by Monday as we start a new work week, mostly sunny with high temperatures near 80. Well, another day at the Apple Blossom Festival means another day of our food criti critique from the food court at Memorial Park. Tonight, apparently NCW Life's Dan Kuntz has a sweet tooth. All right, uh, we are here at the You Found Us Ice Cream Concessions, 1983, when these folks first uh, came here and decided to do a uh, food fair. I'm here to get me an ice cream cone, and this is a great time to talk about the app the Apple Blossom app, because if you go to the Apple Blossom app and you go through the little process here, you'll see something called coupons. And if you click on that, you got coupons, and this is one of the, uh, one of the local businesses that have coupons available. And so what I have, if I downloaded the, the 10 free ice cream cones, is the 10 free ice cream cones, Randy, that's on the app, did you know that? I'm kidding, there's not 10 free apps. I'm in the mood for strawberry today. Um, why don't you give me on, the, on that cone right there, buddy? As you can tell, they also have caramel apples, which I believe they do have coupons for that. They're a dollar off with the coupon on the app. We have cotton candy here. Very nutritious. Chips for the dips. This I like. <laughs> this I like. So what, which one is the dip? Is it Randy or is it John? Me. <laughs> Congratulations, John, on, on being the head dip there, buddy. There you go. There's money. And for lunch today, a strawberry ice cream cone, and that's a real strawberry right on the top there. That's classy. Mm. Oh, with that strawberry right on the top, it's so good, I forgot that I'm allergic to strawberries. And unless I get the antidote, within 45 minutes, I'll be in the fetal position and hospitalized. Worth every bit of it. Central Washington Hospital, here I come. That's a 10. That's a 10. It's ice cream. It has to be a 10. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel tomorrow morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with host Dan Kuntz and news with Steve Hare. Thanks for joining us and have a great night.
This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV set free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit localtel.net and sign up today. Hey there, Wenatchee. I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town.